go to my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash Mendo and uh, follow Turnodies on because I might do a future keyboard unboxing on there really soon. So go check that out if you're interested in a live unboxing that you guys will be able to experience. Um, make sure you leave a like on this video if you do enjoy it. And per usual, jump right here for the typing test and go right here for the gameplay of me using the keyboard. If you want to watch the whole review, just watch the whole video. It'll help me out. Leave a comment, subscribe, use code Mando in on shot. Love y'all. Enjoy the video. Wow. That's sweet. That is sweet. It's really bright. It's super bright. Wow. Okay. Yo, what up, guys? It's Mendo. Back with another review. The usual. You already know the use. Thank you to Banggood again for sending me another keyboard. Uh, this one's actually probably one of my favorite signs. Uh, it's a Wamir K66. I am pretty sure that's what it's called. But um, it's called the Wamir Glazed RGB Keyboard. And it's got some fancy name. But it is the K66 on Banggood, which you guys can get for a pretty uh, fairly cheap price. Link in the description. If you like the product you see today in the video, go ahead and check the link at the top of the description. So yeah, let's get right into it. That's super bright. Since it's already really bright, I'm just going to turn on my lighting a bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright. So, I'm not a review channel, so I'm not going to go into super detail with it. I'm going to give my honest opinion, the pros and cons, whether you should buy it or not, and if you should buy it, depending on what you're looking for. So, this is the Wamir K66. Uh, it's got RGB. You got a pretty clear translucent RGB thing. That's how like the whole light shine through and you got like the whole sides and it comes with PPT double shot keycaps. Um, you got some standard OEM profile keycaps and uh, got one my, my only complaint my two complaints with this keyboard. All right, I'm gonna just get that out of the way. The two things that I do not like about the Wami K66 is it sits really flat. And since the keycaps do kind of angle right here, it slants to the back. So if you do have to, uh, if you're used to having a keyboard with stands where it stands up and you can game like this, it's actually sitting down. So you actually got to put your fingers up more a little bit. Not a huge game changer. I can play just normally. I just have to tilt my keyboard a bit more than usual. Nothing crazy. Very sweet. As you guys can tell, the RGBs are bright it is bright if you got a full RGB uh, setup like a RGB mouse pad or RGB mouse RGB lights on your uh, desk this is perfect for that um it can't get brighter than this I think this is on max settings already the RGB modes do come with 18 different lighting modes you can change it and uh, it's pretty fairly easy to change there's a bunch of reactive modes like this this is my favorite one actually uh, you got different rainbow modes and not just that you also get to change uh, Like the, the color so right now is rainbow but if I go like this there's a color palette Ignore the border of the keyboard where there's RGB going around but notice the middle How there is about like a greenish and then a blue and then like a pink and a red kind of stuff So if I wanted like a dark blue Boom, I get a full solid dark blue keyboard, right? If I want to go back to RGB, just press the space bar again, boom, full RGB color scheme. So that's really sick. I really like it. If you do FN and other control, you actually switch the, the lighting modes around the keyboard, the, the base that goes around the keyboard. So if I want like one solid color, that's a breathing mode, switching between different colors. That's sick, super bright. It looks really good. Honestly, it looks really good. It's really aesthetically pleasing and uh, that goes along with a lot of people. Um, a lot of people like that kind of stuff, so that's sweet. Uh, my other complaint that I haven't mentioned yet is the key wobble. The keycaps do um, shake quite a lot, but they're not game changing. They're not going to affect how you play the game. It's not a big deal though. A lot of keyboards are like that. The switches that come with the keyboard are some standard optical Gateron Brown switches. Just like on the other keyboards I've used, the SK61, the RK61, they all use like optical Gateron switches, which are like not so 
good, not as good as like gather, uh, like the gather all normal switches or the kale boxes and all that stuff. But you're still getting really good product for a really good deal. Uh, that's really all that matters, right? Uses a USB-C, a lot stable, a lot more stable connection, and uh, very universal right now. Most keyboards use USB-C, so that's really sick. The USB-C apparently has got a transfer rate of 40 gigabytes per second, which whatever that means, it's good. I mean, never con is never disconnected on me. It's connected right away when I use it. I don't know if there's a software with this keyboard, but I do not use it, and it's it works perfectly fine. I actually like play. I've been using this for days now. So that's really good. And I gotta be honest, the typing experience really nice. It's really soft and cl uh, like clicky and responsive and satisfying. It's, they use a really nice PCB plate uh, mount on the bottom. It's called the Immersion Gold FR4 PCB Technic, whatever that's called. It's great. Love it. All you need to know is it's a great keyboard. Highly recommend it. Right now the keyboard's only $57.99, which is uh, sick. We're gonna go straight into a typing test, guys. And uh, remember, if you want this keyboard, check it out for yourself with the link at the top of the description at banggood.com. Oh, they're getting shot at. Well, that's what you guys get. Give me your mask, give me your mask. Oh, dude, he's building on me. Attack, I don't oh I got it. Yeah, 99 in the head. You you, you tell me that again. Oh my god. I downed him. I downed him. Oh my god. Why does a reload time take so long on a fucking sniper, bro?
other people I hate, gingerbread's way. 